a quick advantage. Yeah, uh, with Falcon, I guess it's possible, but Wizrobe's also a very patient player. Mm -hmm. So he's just coming off a big loss in melee. Um, the crowd was going wild. You may have heard it in the background if you've been tuned into the stream for a while, but the last big eruption was uh, Amza, I believe this is the guy's name. I, I, apologies. We apologize ahead of time. Amza, I don't know Amza, melee. The, the Japanese uh, Yoshi. Yeah, I yeah. guess. I yeah, think he's, so. he's a ton of fun to watch. Okay, so I heard people cheering his name, and I saw Wizrobe kind of looking a bit dismayed. Uh, so I think that he beat Wizrobe. I heard it was very, very close. So now Wizrobe will come back to 64 and bust out his Yoshi here. Doesn't look like hand warmer, so we're going right into it. So you'll see unorthodox play from Jaime, and it, it's not going to look like his flashy, fast-style Falcons, but... Uh, he won't make many mistakes. Look at that. They're so, they're so fast. Interesting. He went for... Ooh, that's going to be a star. Yeah. Well, Jaime takes the lead here against Wizard. Wizard was going to take a moment to compose himself. Ooh. Holy yeah. cow. And that's what Rizrobe likes to do. He doesn't go for these huge combos a lot of the time. He'll set himself up for a good edge guard, but it didn't look like Jaime had a jump. Oh, and Jaime gets caught by the classic Rizrobe. Oh my god. Here we go, up smash. And that's probably going to be a stock. So one touch, one kill from both of these players. This is incredible. Yeah, regrab. Ooh! Oh, just no. misses, and Jaime looking for that. I think Yoshi was a little too low on damage for that to work. Yeah, it looks like it was very close, but... Yeah, and I don't know if I like that down air. I think a lot of players are using that too close to the, you know, the, si the edge of the stage because unless it's clear that you're going to get it, most players at this level are DI'ing very hard. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, and Wizard was very good at pairing out. Jaime's going to have to watch what, if he's trying to get those grabs like that. Probably not the best thing to do off the tech chase. And those parries just they signal an immediate reversal when they happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Parry, oh, now Wizrobe wins the stock. Yep, and it it almost happened just there. Jaime was caught in shield. Ooh, trying a nice little mix up. That's kind of like the Falcon version of the Wizrobe. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh wow. Jaime manages to to bring it out. Yeah, so only down a stock here. I mean, either way, it doesn't really, the percentage isn't huge because if Wizard touches him regardless, he basically loses his stock, so. Just gotta get two clean, quick stocks. Oh, and Wizard manages to get on the platform and get into his shield. Oh, great Incredible. job. Incredible. Most Falcons just would have would have contented themselves with standing on the ground. But Jaime knew he needed to, to grab the ledge. Nope. Yeah. Very smart from Wizard. He does the dash attack first. I'm gonna get some good DI, but that jab will set him up for a very easy uh, edge hog. So Boom is gonna come up and coach Jaime a little, which is cool. And Wizrobe, as you see, having a, like a protein shake or something, he's getting coached by Kiro. I think a protein shake is kind of necessary for Wizrobe because if you think about what this guy's doing, I mean, I don't know if he has like a I don't, I don't know where he finds time to go to the bathroom, let alone eat. So clearly he's cut eating out of his schedule because he plays so many games at such a high level. He's probably played more matches, more tournament matches here than, and he probably will than anyone else, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, making it as For far sure. as he does in, in Melee and 64. I don't know if he plays uh, Wii U or not. Yeah, that's a good question. We'll have to ask him. Yeah, maybe we can find out. So, Kiro, an unlikely coach for Wizrobe, I guess? Yeah, that's that's really surprising. We don't see him play Yo playing Yoshi very often. Yeah, that's why I was uh, thinking that. And I don't know if they have, like, a rapport with each other yeah. or whatever. Um, but Boom, obviously, a very likely coach for Jaime and, and a yeah. good person to get some advice from. So if, Bo if indeed he is staying Falcon, then Boom will probably mention, you know, something about the parry. Wouldn't it be cool if we could have the coaches mic'd up? Dark horse. <laughs> and I get an evil an evil glare. <laughs> so um <laughs> Alright, here we go. Game two. Jaime is opting to stick with Captain Falcon. 
don't know, maybe he, if he doesn't take another game, he tries Kirby, but... Oh, oh. man. And it's just so hard to deal with Yoshi. Without any... Up smash is exactly what you want to start your combos with, but <laughs> but if Yoshi can just run right through it, what do you do? Yeah, I don't what know. Do you do? Oh, maybe Boom knows. But Boom doesn't even play Falcon when he plays against Wizrobe, and that is the right thing to do, but Wizrobe could have potentially DI'd onto the stage. Does not, so Jaime is able to even it out here. There it <laughs> Again! Is. Again! Yeah. Again. Another one? Oh, that he didn't even opt. He, I think he's like scared to try that up smash, but it would have worked perfectly for him. Wizard had already used his second jump. Oh, and he gets back underneath the jab. Rolls up after the. Ooh. Oh, oh there's no jump there. I don't think either. I mean, he's got to make sure he recognized that. Let's see. Now an up B. So he's gonna have to get an edge guard here. Up B, maybe. Oh, run away from the egg. I think Jaime's got a little bit of the fear in him. Yeah, man, that's better safe than sorry. Gotta be careful jumping off stage like that. Ooh, is that a double jump? Yeah, oh, nice Falcon kick. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know what else he could have closed his space with there, so that was definitely a great option. I know it's kind of gimmicky, but I love seeing the, the Falcon kick out of nowhere. Yeah. As long as you don't overuse it, it it's a can be a good option. As long as it's unexpected, you know? Yeah. No jump here. here. We go. No jump. Nair. That's That'll it. I'll do it. That's the stock. Yeah, good recognition. So Jaime with a lead here. That's what we we're saying. I mean Jaime's no slouch. Oh, oh and he it. uses it. Oh, let's see. So this time he waited for the shield pressure. Ooh, the Falcon Kick mix-up. Hey! <laughs> oh, hi, man. Oh, what a guy. Yeah, wow. So he waited What did he, he waited for the shield and He waited air? for the shield pressure and waited until Wizrobe was on the ground to up smash. And then he knew he could get him. He right. knew Wizrobe can't fly through this. But an up smash on shield... What? Oh, uh, Jaime was being shield. Oh, pressure. gotcha. Okay, he yeah, waited yeah, yeah. for something unsafe, and then he and then he bam. up smash, and then he followed with that forward air, which is really nice. I think. And then he was on the platform. Up air, yeah. up air standard. Yep. And he missed that up B, but wow, that falcon kick was such a good mix up. It's kind of like Wizrobe getting caught with the Wizrobe. So if you're not aware, we call um, for whoever's watching or you, Protag, whoever uh, we call the we call the down B, Yoshi's down B, the Wizrobe, because traditionally. Uh, or previously, before Wizard was at the level he is now, even though he was still very good at the time, he used a lot of, you know, down B and neutral. And it was the one aspect of his game that he really needed to tighten up because it got taken advantage of. That's how you say that quite a bit. But Jaime with a, a Wizard of his own using that Falcon kick very nicely. Wizard looks like he's trying to edge Jaime out into a uh, disadvantage, uh, disadvantageous position. Yeah. Stick him on the edge and then, uh, you know, maybe grab a hit on his shield. Yeah. Nah, but Jaime, Jaime knows it and he, he runs to the center of the stage and starts taking space back. Yeah, very aware, right? And he's still, like you said, he's looking to wall him out with his, with his back airs. Oh, and oh. switches. Here it is. And Jaime does not want to get caught in that uh, in that up tilt. Can spell disaster for Falcon. Needs combos right into up smash. So up tilt is set knockback as well. Oh, and Jaime goes in a little, overcommits a little bit with that. Uh, oh, so <laughs> nice. Jaime overcommits a bit with that F air and it costs him. Really nice Nair to land on platform and forward smash from Wizard. Will that do it? That's gonna do it. All he's gonna do is edge hog. Yeah, he oh, should have I exactly he should have edge hogged, but he's worried about the uh, the stall with the down B and then potentially getting hit. Oh probably. I don't know. But Jaime does not want to fight him on the edge. I don't blame him. 
No, no, it looks like high mate. Oh, whoa! Just a little bit late with those up airs. Wizrope knows it. Oh, he jumps into it. Oh, what a recovery from Jaime. Wow. That could do it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Wizrope now up two stocks. Wizrope's so good with that tech chase, uh, using the DJC forward air to tech chase in the, you know, if they tech in the opposite direction. And then against Falcon, it's so dangerous, you know, that forward air, grounded forward air, spike you right into an up smash. Well, Fire Blaster does that too with the, the tech chase DJC oh. forward air, and it's <gasps> so hard to deal with. Yeah. Oh wow, and Wizard makes it back. That was such a nice uh, combo from Jaime. Oh! <laughs> Here it is. Neutral. Ah. That works. Jaime did that plat drop up air. And he wasn't able to get the edge guard after that combo, but. Oh, those are so good at that. You think you got him just when you think you had him. <laughs> yeah, Jaime plays it safe a lot too there. You see he doesn't want to overcommit yep. even on an edge guard. Just respect the Yoshi. Yeah. Let him get back. I want to see him do just like a running in up B. Like right there on shield. Yeah, if he confirms on shield. Just... Sure. Yeah. Yoshi can have all the super armor he wants. It's not going to work on a grab. Exactly. <laughs> so tense. Look at the feet. Ooh, oh, whoa. This rope knew something was coming. Yeah. Wow. This rope. You know, I may play him a mock close for that game, too, but... Wizrobe up two games to none. So looking to close out Jaime here. And I guess this would Jaime would tie with Tacos in finishing seventh. If Wizrobe could take him out in this game three. That'll be a fair disappointment for the losers, I think. Or for the loser of this game. Because you think both these players made it to top eight. Yeah, and one of them is gonna have to go home without playing in that wonderful the historic theater. Yeah, 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 that's such a shame. Yeah, if talk for tacos too, right? Like those matches yeah. would have been nice, but you know, time time constraints. But at least we got the top six. Yeah. And tacos Kiro was cool to see. You know, that was a great match uh, to close. One of the matches to close out today on. Mm -hmm. So that was a really good match. So I wonder if he's thinking of switching to Kirby and what kind of advice Boom is giving him. Kirby would have a much easier time dealing with the Super Armor, I think. He's got some drills and whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah. So it looks like it's time to start here. So we did hear a Kirby switch. So probably a better matchup. But one that Wizard is also very good at. Wizard will opt to spike him back down with a forward air. Especially at a low percentage like that, he wasn't going to get the kill with an up air or anything. No, no. Even though it was that high. Jaime, like I said, he's a very careful player. You can see he's playing, you know, he's really keeping his space. He's not looking to overextend. He doesn't want, to, he doesn't want this to end yet. You know, he wants yeah. to go more games as a competitor. When I play Jaime, I feel like a lot of the time, you just slowly, you're taking space from him, pushing him away, pushing him away. It's that one moment where you think you got him, you overextend a little, and he catches you, you know? Yeah. And that's the mark of a really good player. Yeah. For sure, and that, that was a great recovery from Jaime initially. Beautiful job of avoiding the forward air to get back to the ledge, but Wizard was able to do it. Wizard uses that DJC so nicely to land exactly where he needs to. Excellent spacing, excellent movement control. 
with yeah. a character where where the movement is so unconventional with respect to the rest of the cast. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes it feels so unorthodox like, to throw out that attack, but if you're recovering from not that low and you want to land underneath the side plat, you have to do a DJC. Look at this pace of this game right now. And it just goes to show the respect they have for each other, though, too, because the level of punish. You know, if you get caught by anything, it could be a stock. Yeah. So you can't just... Oh, wow. And just misses that grab. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Messes up his control a bit there. Ooh, oh, and... Oh. Yeah, and that was a rough spot for Jaime to be in. Great jabs. Wizard is so good at jabbing his opponents uh, to keep them in a position to edge guard them so they can't grab the ledge. Oh. Shield breaks. Nice. I always like seeing the shield. Oh. And of course, he knows the punish. He's, you know, yeah. picture perfect punish. Just two DJs, uh, DJC Nairs. To a forward air. Oh, so close to catching him with that nair. Jaime's mean, got to be careful here. Oh, it's a dangerous spot to be in. So good with those eggs. And oh, it forces no. this terrible recovery because of those eggs. Wow, wow. what an edge guard. Wizard looked like such a monster in that last game. Wizard was so strong.